Hello Year 3, welcome to our maths lesson this Monday. Um, for all of this week we are looking um, at properties of shapes, um, but not the actual 2D and 3D shapes themselves yet, we'll get on to that next week. This week we are looking at turns and angles, and also horizontal, vertical, parallel and perpendicular lines and how those factors make up properties of different shapes. Um, today we're just focusing on turns and angles and then we will build on that tomorrow as well in tomorrow's lesson. So I've got some information here. Um, that hopefully is going to be very useful to you and some of this you might know already from year two. An angle um, in a shape, we explain that as when two straight lines meet each other. And there are two shapes on this screen here and two diagrams of lines as well that show you um, where there are some angles. So this rectangle over here, this yellow rectangle, if you look at the top line here where the mouse is moving and this line going down the side here, at the corner where those two lines meet, the one going along the top and the one down the side, we refer to that there as an angle. And the same in this green shape, this hexagon over here, where each of the lines meet at the corner, we say that that is an angle. And same with this diagram here, it's not a 2D shape, however, there are two lines and at the point where the two lines meet, that is an angle. And then in this diagram over here, we've got one angle here, where the two lines meet, and another angle up here where the two lines meet as well. So each of these pictures, as you can see, shows one or more angles. There is one specific type of angle that we need to know about today that has a particular name, and that is this angle here. It's called a right angle. And this is something that you may well have come across in year two. A right angle, is where two lines meet and it looks very much like a capital L shape. And we show that this is a right angle by having usually a square where the angle meets each other here. And this square here will let us know that we are looking at a right angle. A right angle is 90 degrees in terms of its size. Um, we measure angles in degrees and 90 degrees is always a right angle. So what you're looking at here is an angle measuring 90 degrees. This little tiny circle here, that is the symbol for degrees, just so you know. Um, at this point, it's going to be really important to mention, um, particularly for tomorrow's lesson, um, the worksheets on our website. We need to know lots about right angles. Right angles do not always look like a capital L shape the correct way around. A right angle can also look like a backwards capital L shape as well. If you have some paper nearby, um, you could practice drawing a backwards capital L. So looking at the mouse here, just would go down and then across this way. As long as the lines are straight um, and it's a capital L shape backwards, that is also a right angle. And similarly, we can have a right angle um, where the angle here is actually at the top of the diagram rather than at the bottom. So watching this mouse over here again, if I was drawing a line upwards and then across, that there would be your right angle as well. So just bear in mind that right angles don't always look the same way around as a capital L shape. They can also look backwards as well and face the other direction. Now, there is a really important connection that we need to be aware of 
which is the connection between a right angle and a quarter turn because they are the same shape. I'm just going to go back one stage again and ask you to focus on the white section of the slide and appearing is going to be that same diagram and there is a boy there on the diagram who's going to show you a quarter turn. So have a look very carefully. Okay, so you can see here that this diagram here that does go behind the picture of the boy, that diagram there is the same shape as this right angle here. So we can say that a quarter turn is the same as turning through one right angle. And when something makes a quarter turn, it turns 90 degrees, which is the same as a right angle. That information is really important for what's coming up later on today. Now then, this is a game that you can play at home with your family. Um, it's really quick, it's really easy, you don't need any equipment, you just need someone to give you some instructions um, to follow. And it's a really good way of practicing at home how to turn according to different directions and instructions. So, in this diagram here, it says the child is facing the circle shape, which you can see, and they're going to be asked to make a quarter turn clockwise. And you've got to work out if they did turn a quarter turn clockwise, which shape would they be facing? Now, we looked at clocks last week, we looked at analog clocks, and the way in which the hands move round the clock, we say that is clockwise, okay? Now, on a clock face, the hands move round to the right hand side. And as you can see, if this child turns a quarter of a turn clockwise, try and work out which shape they're going to end up facing. I'll give you a couple of seconds to think and then I shall show you. Where will the child be facing if they turn a quarter turn clockwise? There we go, they are facing the square. Well done if you chose the square. Okay. This time the child is facing the rectangle which is the orange shape at the bottom of the screen. And this time they're going to make a turn through three quarters. So not one quarter that we've seen so far, they're going to turn through three quarters. And this time they're going to be turning anti-clockwise. So if you remember clockwise was going the same way round the circle that the hands would go on a clock, anti-clockwise is going the other way. So if you look at the mouse here, anti-clockwise would be the hands going round the clock face in the opposite direction that they normally would. So this child is facing the rectangle. He is going to go anti-clockwise, which is this direction, and he's going to go through a turn of three quarters. Where is he going to end up? Have a think. There we go. You can see he spun round three quarters. So he was facing the orange rectangle. He then turned one quarter to face the red square, two quarters to face the green circle, and then three quarters to face the yellow triangle. This question here is a little bit different. It says the child makes a quarter turn clockwise to face the circle. And is there another way he could have turned to end up in the same position? So, he's facing the triangle and if he turned clockwise through one quarter, he would have ended up here. He could have also ended up in that same position 
by turning in the opposite direction. So he's facing the triangle. If he goes round, first of all, to the orange rectangle, he's turned through one quarter. If he then turns around to face the pink square, he's turned through two quarters. And then he would end up facing the green circle if he turned through another quarter to make three quarters. So he could turn anti-clockwise through one, two, three quarters. One, two, three. There we go. This is a game that is really good to play at home. So you could ask one of your parents or a family member to give you some instructions. You could start maybe facing a door in one of your rooms in your house and your parent could ask you to turn either a quarter, a half or two quarters, which is the same thing, or three quarters, either clockwise or anti-clockwise. And you could see if you can turn around to face the correct direction in your house. It's a really good and fun way of practicing turns in quarters, clockwise and anti-clockwise. Okay. This is a little, another game you can play and to play this you might find it useful to, to um, pause the video once I've explained it. It says, what turning instructions would you give the robot to escape the maze? So imagine this robot is walking along here. How would you instruct him to turn so he could now walk down this small bit of the path here? If he's facing this way, he's facing over here, he would need to make a quarter turn clockwise in order to be facing the right direction to walk down this path. And then see if you can direct him all the way to escape the maze. At this point, hopefully you can access this uh, worksheet on our website. Um, it's now time to have a go at completing that. Um, you can, of course, look back at this video at any point if you need any help with anything. Um, there isn't a video for Tuesday's lesson, um, but there is work on our website. It is to do with right angles, so you can always go back and have a look at the section in this video that explains about right angles um, and use that to help you with Tuesday's work. And we'll be back with another video later on this week.